Hello everyone, my name is Master Rothfuss, welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. So when we last left off, we were about to essentially push into the People's Republic of China and destroy this enemy once and for all, so that all we have to do is really focus on China. However, because of how hilly this area is, you might want to hold back on that. Now then, I have some ideas. Currently our air forces are in the Northern, Chi Northern China area, so let's move them to Eastern China. Actually, it seems like Northern China just encompasses this area. This is, this area is where Eastern China uh, is, and this is where it begins, and this is where Northern China ends, so to speak. So, actually, we should keep our air forces in Northern China because we have the advantage. Because Eastern China over here, it only really supports like these small territories, and that's it. Now, we're not going to push in quite yet, mostly because, well, we're dealing with a force... That we've only just now been able to uh, hold back, so that's good. Modify the government a little bit. Ground support. Uh, want something that can maybe help us out a little bit more with, I don't know battles army experience so grand paddle plan doctrine increase maybe maybe military theorist might be actually pretty good you know what i'll wait so operation bumfuck japan i mean not bumfuck japan operation bumfuck china has been a massive success we're even getting rid of some of the bad supply in our territories and building up some infrastructure to help out uh it seems like china is now finally pushing in Okay, we seriously need more forces to go to the right side. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, stop the Chinese from pushing in anymore. Facing some attrition here because of bad supply. I wonder what's causing the bad supply. I think everybody's kind of accounted for, unless you're talking about horses. This is an outdated uh, unit. Yeah. We don't build their, uh, we don't build that army anymore, so we might want to disband them after the war. After. In terms of actually creating new armies, we got a marine squad being built up, or marine army being built up, in order to try and open up a new front into China. I feel like it's going to be very successful. Right now, the large portion of our uh, forces are currently just doing fine, actually. I want to upgrade our dudes, actually. They're currently using, like, I don't know, muskets to fight. And we have superiority. Yeah, in this little area. They'll win these battles with air superiority, but not anything else. Alright. Alright. So, national focus time. Time to get synthetic oil. And weapons too. Could modify the government, but... I mean, who would we pick? Who would we pick? Ooh, electronic research time reduced. Tank designer. Armor research time. Hmm... Ship designer has a lot of stuff coming for it. How about, how about, how about? Fuck, I'm so lost on what I want. Military theorists would be nice. Oh, is that our max? 500? Okay, so we might as well just use it soon. You know what, we'll wait. But I do want to build up some more divisions, actually. 
Actually, do I wanna? Uh, we have no real need. No, and we can't even like reinforce some of our guys. What's the point? Yeah, I need to draw up new battle plans. But I want to do that once we uh, get some more forces. Yeah, definitely I want to do that because look at this. We are almost close to finishing up our arty, our royal army. And then that's about it. I'm trying to probe them for weaknesses and so far it seems like... The left side is just completely filled up with mountains and forests and hills and a bunch of stuff that gives them the advantage. The only place that doesn't have a mountain or a hill is the desert region and that's a, a no-go zone. China on the other hand, we're fighting across a river, which is not good at all. And also these are superior forces that we're dealing with. Like the only reason why we're winning these battles I think is because we have superior technology. And also, because we're they're fighting uh, over river. The bad supply is getting to me though. No, this is, it doesn't seem like the AI has exploded that yet, yet. See this, they moving up, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Absolutely insane. We'll have to just wait, I think. Wait until we get our armies going. Either way, though, total need for Artie and um, everything else is doing just fine. However, it seems as though planes are an issue. We'll need more planes, obviously. More infrastructure here. We could support uh, more units, which is good. Eventually, maybe get our uh, getting ourselves like an air base or two. How many of our factories are free? None of them. Okay. We could deploy it instantly, this uh, unit, but that's not really a good thing. Not really. That would probably be very bad for everybody involved. Hmm. Oh, we can finally get motorized the rocket already. That's good. I wonder, how are we winning these battles? Enemy, air superiority, air support. Yeah, if it wasn't for these, uh, this war, I'd probably just like delete my armies that weren't uh, getting any more units. Wow, we have so much manpower, I love it. Like, our, our fucking uh, society is really warlike, and I'm absolutely enjoying that. German Reich has declared war on Poland. Unfortunate. Well, Poland, it looks like you're gonna get your ass uh, grassed. See how fast this war is. Oh, Poland actually grabbed a chunk of Germany, actually. Should I just deploy them? Just deploy them. Just deploy them. It's getting way too much now. I am absolutely losing it.
Mm. I'm gonna do an amphibious assault. Let me see. Do I have to bring along my uh, my units, my inf my uh, naval units? You know what? I'm gonna move them to Korea, and then afterwards move them uh, elsewhere. Ooh, a time I can do a lot of this stuff. Hold on a second. Let's get undersea blockade. Oh, do I have to gain access to it? Like, actually, like, legitimately t conquer it? Okay. How about I put these guys in an army? Yeah, naval invasion. There we go. Click on the highlight province to set the invasion source. Right click on the desired, uh. Okay. It's not a valid province? What is a valid province then? None of these are valid provinces. I can't just like navally invade these guys. Is it because of the forces that I have in the the ocean? Hmm. Click on the highlighted provinces to step on. Oh. Okay. Oh wait, I can't even do those guys as well. Well, that's just the city. That's why. Click on the highlighted provinces to set the invasion source. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Holy shit, I'm fucking dumb. Oh, invasion source. Holy shit. There's gonna be an autist in the chat, I swear. Okay. Alright, I just have to. Right now, I'm just invading. Okay. Can I maybe like make it offensive one? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Uh, right. Let's get a good commander right now. Trickster. Out of supply. Fuck it, I might as well get him. Activate the plan. Invasion is still preparing two out of 35 days. Okay, that's fine. Take your time While we do that we can uh, do some stuff here I really don't want to wait for these units, but I I gotta get the, I, I gotta wait Motorized uh, vehicle uh, motorized already has been researched which is good Research time will be reduced by 50%. Okay. How about we go down the high go line? Alright, fuck it. Just unleash these guys. Fuck it. I'm impatient now. Uh, let's put these guys right over Hmm Oh, right, I gotta put them in A naval province first and foremost Now 
let's just both well, let's just get them all in uh, the province right here really oh there we go there we go I probably was uh, clicking a query yeah this is an air base not a naval base I derped that one Okay, we have five more forces being built here. And all this other good shit happening. I am feeling very confident in my uh, ability to conquer China. Granted, I feel like I'm going by really slowly. Um, you know, the war with China lasted for a long time, so I think we're good. Finally. This tank is finally done. Oh, here they come. I can tell the battleships to support my units. You know, it's actually for the best that we just uh have our units chill out and go on search and destroy mode. And wait, this uh, plan was a success. Full blown success now China is split into p different pieces I'm just gonna take all these uh, little territories here This is sweet. This is really good. You know what, I'm just going to push into China. The People's Republic of China is way too hard to conquer, I think. Dude, I'm going to try and help you out as much as possible, but... I don't know. Engineering-wise, we can get dispersed research. Or, I mean, dispersed in industry. Right, so we need a new plan now. They've kind of surrounded me here, but that's okay. I've taken a small portion of China. Now, these are just plain, so that's, I guess, good. Yeah, we're going to get a constant attack by these guys. So we're going to need to, I don't know, get some more forces pumping out. Let's try and send in to reinforce these lines over here. We got the naval base, so it's going to be way easier for us to help out here. I'm going to try to attack right now. With more divisions, just a 
stronger army overall. I think we can uh, we can take these guys. It's gonna take one breakthrough again, and we can like sweep past them. Tear China asunder, while also containing the People's Republic. We just gotta meet up with our army here and then uh, form up a giant concave. Alright, we've done it. We have done it. We've pushed in. Okay, Rocket already has finished up. Can probably get support weapons three right now. Ooh, that was not a good engagement for my Marines. I think in order to win this battle, we're gonna have to send in some forces now. At this point, I just wanna kill these guys. Let's gather up our forces right now. Yeah, I'm gonna try and move away and uh, help out. There we go. Go to a naval base. Okay, we're close. We're close. Actually, hold on. You guys go around here and go here. A lot of armies in the stack, so we need to split them up. Okay, pushing in. We are pushing in, boys. Germany has declared war on Luxembourg. Have they even conquered Poland yet? Uh, they've conquered portions of Poland. We've already captured Austria, so that's something. Alright, we finally connected these uh, different battlegrounds, so that's good. Everybody, all together. This is a 12 stack, so this is, uh, this is a, a fairly massive army. I'm going to pile in more troops to help out. Actually, hold on. I'm going to flank around. Attack these guys where it hurts. Ooh, a friend request. I accept. 
Oh, it seems like the world is <laughs> boiling over. Yep, World War II, I think, has uh, officially begun. Oh, we're actually losing, even though we have our new army here. Not anymore. Taking some attrition. This is due to us having a lot of forces here in this small little area. But I promise to uh, split it up as soon as we can. Whoa! Yeah, we gotta clog that up now. Seems like in the face of the fa of the uh, failure from our good old uh, China friend, his butt buddy, People's Republic of China, has decided to help out. Which is unfortunate. I thought we could be friends. chill out right now okay so industry or anything um, get this right now so some serious pushing is happening which is really great we have a good portion of China now locked down. We can maybe push it down to well, their capital, which is, which is uh, Nanjing. I have more forces being built, which is good. In terms of production, everything's kind of filled out except for tanks and arty. That's always going to be something that's... I don't really fill out as much. We might want to go ahead and delete some military factories in order to produce more arty. But I don't know. We might need to just like produce more military factories, which is okay. I mean, we can get some right here and get some right here. And here, obviously. Oh, we can build a lot in Beijing. But we're going to put them on the small end of the priority list, I think. Yeah, we need to repair that, uh, repair these, uh, little things over here. But anyway, I'm going to see you guys next time in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.